Hey everybody, welcome back. Talking about the next kick in the teeth courtesy of censorship. Uh, got an interesting email, and it's a general email, a warning from Google, from the AdSense division of Google, yeah. telling people, warning people, if you're talking about the situation in the Ukraine and you are not following the narrative, that is, what you're saying does not mimic what's coming from the press corps as an example you're not following along with the crowd you're not following the parade they will shut down all adsense on you across the board they'll suspend they say they're going to delay it yeah delay or this pause is, it they're suspending you basically putting you in adsense jail yeah adsense jail kind of like facebook jail mm -hmm. only it hurts you in your wallet instead of just pissing you off. So literally, it, that, that is pure censorship. If they're going to intimidate you out of, out of speaking your mind, even if you're not necessarily disagreeing, they just decide that, okay, you know what, this guy's not really playing along, that they're going to punish you like that. That is pure censorship. And it's something that people should be aware of. Because um, even though there's a million channels on ScrewTube, most of them aren't monetized and most people that are on ScrewTube aren't actually um, making videos. They just have an account to watch them. So they're not aware of that. They're not aware of just how seriously that sort of thing is being taken by people that are trying to control what you talk about. That's dangerous. That's Orwellian stuff. But the thing that I find, um, I guess, interesting or kind of like make you turn your head to the side and bend your face up is you got all these people talking about rights, rights, rights. Mm -hmm. And rights are great as long as your rights are the same as theirs. Yeah. You know, it's like... Um, you know, we, we, let's coexist. That's the one mm -hmm. that really gets me when you see that bumper oh, yeah. sticker. Coexist. Coexist. But you need to coexist with me. And on my like, terms. Oh, yeah, on my terms. And it's like, you can have free speech as long as your, your speech is what I want you to talk about. Talk about whatever you want as long as it's in line with the same things that I'm saying. Yeah, and yeah. it's like they don't have the sense to just turn it off. Because it's when, it, when it's things that I don't, I personally don't like or mm -hmm. want to see, I don't watch it. Yeah. And if I turn on a YouTube, YouTube video and the person is saying things that I don't like, even if I agree with it, if they got a lot of foul language, I'll just turn it off. Yeah. I don't give them a thumbs down. I don't leave a comment. I just turn it off. Yeah. And that's, that's how it used to be handled before the current generation. Uh, a lot of people in the modern generation have been conditioned to believe that they're entitled to in, to superimpose their position on something. They feel like they're entitled to try to force you to see things their way. Yeah. But like, they refuse to see things yours. Yeah, and then if you suggest anything, you're forcing your way on me. Yeah. <laughs> but you force your way with, with petitions and with... Um, marches and burning cities down Protests you force and... your will on others but if mm -hmm. somebody just suggests that you look at things a different way you're forcing yourself on me yeah. and that's not right yeah and it's kind of sickening that it is this is uh this is the position that we've landed ourselves in while we still live under the moniker of uh land of the free and home of the brave and we are neither free nor surrounded by brave people. No. Hardly. It's actually very cowardly to, to try to coerce people into seeing things your way instead of offering a differing opinion. Or at least sit down and hear the person's opinion. But then I realized, too, because I've had this talk. You, you ask the person, oh, they don't like something. Well, why don't you? Well, you know, everybody on Facebook, my friends, this celebrity, what do you think and what do you feel? 
And I remember I had a conversation with a guy one time. And um, he was saying, we, somehow or another, we were talking about churches. And he was saying why he didn't like a certain church. And I asked him why. And he had a full reason of his mm -hmm. own that he came up with in his mind. And I was like, wow. And I told him, I was like, you know, I'm very impressed. Because nowadays, if a person have a, an opinion that's different, and you ask them, Hey, why do you feel that way? They're going to tell you 10 things somebody else said. Because it's or, just wrong. Can't yeah, you see? Yeah. yeah. Or I read it on the internet or I saw a YouTube video. But you actually had your own thought. And I yeah. thought that was impressive. Which is fine. Whether you agree with the person yeah. or not, at least they have their own mind. Um, and very few people do. I yeah. respect That's people that. I, re I really respect people that have an opinion that they created mm -hmm. themselves. Okay, it's, it, you can say, well... Also, what helped me back this up is I saw some documentaries, I saw something, but I looked at that and it helped me come to this conclusion. Yeah. That makes sense, but not like, well, you know, I'm in this Facebook group and everybody says, mm, blah. That's groupthink. Yeah. That's groupthink. That's following the crowd. And uh, what does the Bible say about following the crowd? Don't. Yeah. Turn the other way. Turn the other way. I can never remember don't. that passage, but if the crowd is going in one direction, <laughs> you, you, you go against turn, the flow. Yeah, you turn the other way. Because I can't remember word for word, but that's basically what it says. Yeah, and if you're not a religious person, you don't have to be to appreciate some of the philosophies that you'll find there. Yeah. You know, just, just throwing that out because some people are, oh, I can't believe, I've had people say that, I can't believe you would quote the Bible. What difference does it make to you? If yeah, you what do like, you care? It, just because you may not uh, like the religious aspect of it, a lot of that philosophy is still sound, whether you believe in that stuff or not. Mm -hmm. So don't just dismiss it because of the source. But that's um, that's the state of the world that we're in now. You can't you can't think differently. You can't do things differently. I mean, it's there's always that sort of thing's always kind of been around, but in the modern age of technology, it's much more enforceable. Yeah. It's much more, more enforceable by the people that are actually running the show. Yeah. And we're, all we are is just a, a slave nation stuck in the middle of their struggle. Um, I don't know if anyone else has gotten those messages or is aware of that. It's probably not something that you'd be aware of. It's not going to get national news. No. I mean, because they're not going to be allowed to talk about it. it. They have access and control over the networks that you would see it on. Mm -hmm. So you're not likely to see too many stories on the subject. Uh, if you have any thoughts about that or if you got a message like that, you know, tell us about it in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up. Easiest way to show your appreciation, and we do appreciate it. Share it if you can. Probably the only way it'll get seen. Subscribe if you're new. All that good stuff. Check out some of the other videos. If you're wondering about the random cat or dog images, they're strays that we help out, and those pictures actually help with the loading algorithm because Google really likes cat videos, I guess. <laughs> if you'd like to help the channel out, Every little bit helps, and we sure do appreciate it. And if that's it, then what more can I say? But stay tuned, folks, because there is more to come.